Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we today? We're a little early, but uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see, I have shared this out. I have uh, did my little heart. Throw your hearts up there and share this out. Come on, let's do that real quick before everybody pops in here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hit that share button, hit that share button. Smirsh, smirsh that share button as Relic says. Smirsh it good, smirsh it good. Oh, I can hear myself. Yeah, smash that share. All right, hit them hearts too, hit them hearts. Smash that share, hit them hearts. Let's do it. You met Sam Ham at Dark Side Estates, Middlesex, North Carolina, last Saturday. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, I, I've, I have yet to meet Sam Hain. I want to, though. Uh, I hear he's a good guy. I'll meet him one day. Uh, good morning, Barbie. Good morning, Wyland. Good morning, Lori. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, everybody. Everybody, good morning. Smash that share button. Hit that share button and, uh, and then uh, throw them hearts up there. Let me know you shared by throwing them hearts up there. Come on, let's do make it happen. Let's make it happen. And then we'll get started and chatting and talking and all kinds of good stuffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am so can't wait till Zombie Land Double Tap comes out. Oh, I can't wait to see that movie. All right, so. Yeah, and while y'all are doing all the smashing and the stuff and then the doing and the thing and my barbers and whatnots, I made coffee like three hours ago and never went and got a cup because I was so busy. Um, huh? Um, I've already drank some coffee for the morning, so that's good. I'm fixing to go to bed in a little bit, so I probably don't need another cup right now. But yeah, my last made coffee a while ago and totally didn't even go get any. So Good morning, John Jeffers. What's up? How's Archmortis doing? I hope Archmortis is doing great over there. What's up, Gina? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So, sorry you've been missing me the past couple days. Oh, look, it's okay, man. We understand. We've been busy. Everybody's been busy here lately. So, if you shared, say giggity. Giggity, giggity. Ooh. If you shared, say giggity, giggity. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, come on. Throw it out there. So, it's been a great giggity moist giggity moist cue. No, it's 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 moist duh because those are my two favorite words, moist and duh. And you put it together and you get moist duh. Get it? Moist duh. Get it? Ah. Uh, anyway, I am doing great. I am having a great mood. It has been a beautiful day. Um, I got a lot accomplished today, and uh, getting ready to do that whole uh, little little tour of live feeds from Spencer's Gifts. Uh, you're going to Arcs Friday. That's awesome. Art, you'll love it. Arcs Mortis is the shit. They got John Jeffies there. They got Boogie there. They got Tiggy there. Uh, Speed Demon, uh, Screwball, uh, Alloy. I mean, some of the greatest people that I know. I'm amazing people down there. It's going to be lots of fun. You'll have a blast. Uh, do you like that goo in your coffee? No, I drink my coffee black. We, well, actually, I take a little bit of sugar, like one sugar in it, you know? I used to joke around and say, I like my coffee like I like my women. And people said, strong and black. And I said, no, ground up and in the freezer. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Not really. I'm telling the truth. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> no, man, you're going to have fun at ARCs. It's a blast. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing over there. They got a great thing going on. Good actors. Good fun. Good fun. Good fun. So. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. I know yesterday was rough. Yesterday was really rough. I couldn't get Snapchat to work. I couldn't get like half the things to work. If you've watched the live feed yesterday, you'll know that I came in here, oh, it was like this. I was dying. It was bad. I was so tired. But today I'm doing good. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Just got off work. Um, yeah. Uh, this weekend going to panic. Panic Point Haunted Attraction Adult Night. Got a beer brewery coming out this way. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. 
Y'all just remember when you go into haunted houses, you go to haunted attractions and stuff like that, you're going there to have a good time and get scared. You know, so don't like punch people and shit. That'd be bad. You know? You haven't got to go in years? Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I did get my Snapchat to work. Yes, I did. It did started working like an hour later. Um, and I was very, very happy with that because, um, because, uh, uh, I had, I had some messages that was, uh, that was, uh, needed to be seen about work, about, about the shirts coming out, Spencer's gifts and stuff, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, uh, we were doing really good there for a second. We got up to like 10 people and everything was going good. And then everybody left. So I don't know if Facebook did some stupid shit or if people just left. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on here. But for the people that are still here, thank you so much. I don't know if Facebook is messing with me and everybody is still here or if everybody like dipped out. Uh, it is a bit early. It's 636. I am going to bed early today. So I decided I'd come on in a little early. Uh, Penny Point is in Youngsville, North Carolina. Going to drink my share of beer. I bet you, hell yeah. I don't blame you there. I don't really drink that much, but if I do drink, it's going to be moonshine or rum. But yeah, yeah, we are early this morning, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to go to bed in a little bit and, 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 and whatnots. And we'll be on at seven when people, when people get up, they'll just have to find me. Um, but that's okay. So this last weekend, um, I hope everybody had a great time. Last week we had some really good messages about positivity and growth. Um, th this week, I really don't have that many messages. Like I haven't really, really planned anything out as far as, uh, as contacts goes for the, for the morning shows. Um, I figured I'd just play it by ear today. Um, I do have some movies up, uh, like when they're coming out that I'm interested in. Cause we, we got into a movie thing yesterday. I got into a movie tangent yesterday, which I, it was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. So I figured I might talk today a little bit about some movies that are coming out. And when they're coming out, like Double Tap. Oh, I can't wait. Zombie Land Double Tap. I can't wait. I'm uh, glad you didn't go to bed yet. Yeah, I'm fixing to go to bed here in just a little bit. Got to watch how much I drink because I will have to drive. Yeah, Danny, you, that's a good thing. If you I mean drinking's okay, dude, but it, you, you know, if you're gonna drink a little too much, get a DD. You know? When you do it, it's 180 proof. That's right. I drink moonshine and rum. If I'm gonna drink, I want either moonshine or I want rum. And speaking of that, I got my Dead City Collective rum in a couple days ago. I'm excited about that. I was going to pop the cork and have a couple sips the other day, but I never did. Today might be the day. Today might be the day that I, I pop the cork and have a couple sips. But I was excited about that. So it's a beautiful day. Uh, looks like everybody's getting up and getting ready to go to work and school and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. But today's going to be a day. So, what movies are y'all excited about coming out? Okay, there's a lot of movies coming out. Tons of movies coming out right, you know, soon. What movies are y'all excited about coming out? Have you seen the Have you seen the previews for like Doctor Sleep and The Other Lamb and Red Letter Day? Uh, we Summon Darkness, Zombie Land Double Tap. Can't wait. That's going to be a, The Grudge is coming out again. The Turning. All these things are coming out within like just five days. So that's some pretty cool shit coming out. Uh, there's more too, but that's the ones I was thinking of. My tie-dye shirt, man, keeps me busy. Yeah, no shit. Hell yeah. Businesses will keep you busy. There ain't no doubt. Good morning, Nick. You want to see Three from Hell and the Joker? Hell yeah. I want to see Three from Hell too. I'm really excited about that. I watch Joker... Uh, and then I'm, I'm just, it was all right. It was all right. I don't know. I, I, I I'm still stuck on, um, uh, old homeboy, uh, did an amazing job at the Joker and I can't remember his damn name now. Uh, but, uh, the the other one, the other one, the other guy, not the, not the tattooed up one, but the other one. Good morning, Joe. Good morning to the bones is up in the house. Good morning, bones. Haven't heard of all those movies? Half of those movies? Really? Oh my god, Barbie, where are you at? Where are you at? Under a rock? Come on now. You say you like horror, then you need to know about these movies. 
You need to go check it out. Good morning, Funny Bones. Hey, I did a, uh, I realized yesterday, uh, Bones, that, uh, no, the other guy, the, the other, the other Joker, the one back with the, the one that killed himself or got killed or whatever, the one that died, that guy, I like that guy. Um, Heath Ledger, that's it. Thank you very much. I like that guy. Um, but Bones, I was looking at my TikToks the other day. I did a, t I did a couple TikToks and realized afterwards that I was wearing your hoodie. So you made an appearance in my TikToks via shirt. <laughs> uh, I was checking them out earlier today and I was moving, doing some stuff around, sharing them and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, look, I'm wearing my damn funny bones hoodie. Hell yeah. Official Funny Bones merch can be purchased by going to his page, Funny Bones page, and scrolling down, you'll find the links. And dude, the damn thing's comfortable as shit. It's awesome. Biggs is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody stand up and clap and have a round of applause for the Biggs. Uh, morning, I get crotch goblins ready for school. Just want to pop in and say hi. Hey, well, you get your crotch goblins happy and ready for school. I can't believe he's calling crotch goblins still to this day. It still it blows my mind. Uh, I haven't seen any of the previews except on Facebook. Well, no, Barbie, you got to go and actually look. You got to look up new horror movies coming out so you can get excited about something. Top of the morning to you, sir. Top of the morning. Oh, top of the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, um... Zion and Double Tap comes out in 16 hours. 26 minutes, I'm just saying. Um, Doctor Sleep looks amazing. I don't know if y'all have seen that. I, I'm, I'm excited about that one, too. There you go. Here, I'll pin it. I'll pin it. There you go. Etsy.com shop. Waste of time prod. Go there and get your Funny Bone merch. I'm telling you, man, I bought the hoodie and I, I love it. Get you a Bones hoodie. When I'm just coming, so you will. Giggity, giggity, you. You'll need it. You'll need it. Go get it. What's the name of the song James Dio sings with him whistling in it? Uh, I don't know. The only James Dio song I know is um, the one Kill Switch and Gage redid. Um, shit. I can't even think of the name of that one now. Ah, uh, nah, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, Lord and Lord. Um, you're welcome, Funny Bones. Absolutely, 100%. Hell yeah, man. They do, they need to get that merch for real. It's an, uh, it's an awesome shirt. And a sticker. You got to get you a sticker, too. All right, so listen. Holy Diver, that's it. Holy Diver. I like that song. Holy Diver. That's the only James Dio song that I really remember. But I like that song. Um, all right, so yeah. So listen, yesterday, um, I was I heard this song that I liked. I thought it was crazy, and it was kind of cool. And I don't know where the hell they're from, but they're not from the United States. But it's called, uh, I think it's called Purple Hat. But it's it's a weird song. It's like a dance song. It's like people to people to people to people. I, I really liked it. I was like digging it. So I went to look it up last night, and I wanted to see what this girl looked like because I the 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 video of the song that I liked, uh, I didn't have the didn't have them on. It was just like a you know, background pictures or whatever you know. <clears throat> so I went and looked at a couple other videos, and the first video I looked at, I opened it up, and it was uh why was the sheriff like easing by the house? It's crazy. Anyway, um, watching the security monitors. Um, at first when I put it on, I'm watching it. It was kind of a cool video, but then they did this aerial shot of like this Aztec, Aztec temple that they were at. And man, my imagination went boom. And I figured out what I want to do with my backyard uh, when we build the forever home. Now, I don't know if you all know this or not, but the way I designed the home um, is in the mountains. We designed it for the mountains. So... I looked at this and I'm like, yo, we got to do this. We got to do this. Um, I wonder who the sheriff's department is looking for because they're easing down through that entire neighborhood. Um, weird. Uh, yeah, so I looked at this and I'm like, oh my God, I got to do this. It's so amazing. So I redesigned the house a little bit, changed some things around, and then did uh, the, got the landscaping uh, blueprints out and, and blueprinted them out. 
dude i'm so excited i can't wait so we've been looking at land we're trying to find land in the mountains overlooking a city that's what we want but we got to be close enough to the city that we can have high speed internet so it's kind of tricky on finding land like that you know all right so let's see do you do some people know holy diver and rainbow in the night oh yeah rainbow no rainbow in the dark uh a holy die i think isn't it is it rainbow in the dark or rainbow in the night i don't remember holy diver is about you know what james says, said in an interview before he died yeah yeah it's a rainbow in the dark yeah it's rainbow in the dark i do know that song sheriff sitting down at the end of the road for some reason oh here he goes he's coming back now guys flatland he's looking for somebody Ooh, somebody done screwed up morning jesse i'm watching the security camera now because there's a sheriff who's easing through the neighborhood watching everywhere he's turning down the road now he's just like easing down the road he's looking for somebody ah, ah, ah. somebody done screwed up anyway uh yeah so i'm really excited the 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 new plans of the house took the living room area from like 25 foot to like 42 foot on one side and 27 foot on the other side it's kind of got a kick out on it like a little angle kick out on it and then when you come out from the kitchen we took the glass we had a glass wall there i took that out and i put a retractable wall in that uh the whole wall opens up so when you're in the kitchen you can open up the entire wall and walk right outside onto this beautiful patio aztec looking patio with a fire pit it's gonna be really cool yeah oh, i can't wait dude we're looking at we're looking at land i've been looking at uh around the chattanooga area um and up up that way um for land because of the mountains we really want to be on the side of a mountain i want to be on a on a cliff side oh some kids running watch the cops come flying after this kid or something <laughs> <laughs> watching the security monitors here is like watching watching a bad version of cops cops never they ever catch anything yeah so anyway i'm pretty excited about it pretty excited about it i guess i could show y'all yeah i guess i could i guess i could show y'all that that might be interesting for you for you lovely ducks yeah i said ducks ha ah, d rar i'm a duck all right let me pull it up let me pull it up okay open up so um where is my display capture there we go all right here you go so this is my forever home this is the first floor right here uh i'm in divina georgia it's beautiful up here uh you got some money with your Acres. I've been drinking coffee out of recycled K-Cups and eating 99 cents ramen. Funny bones, you bring your last down here, bro. I'll feed you every day, bro. I'll, I'll never let you go hungry. All right, so here's the here's the house. All right, so this is the first floor. Um, as you can see, there's a garage, uh, maintenance room, a couple staircases, blah, 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 blah. Here's the second story with a roof on. I'll take the roof off in a second so you can look at it a little bit better. And all levels. So this is what the house is going to look like. This is what it's gonna look like from the road. Now this is two two places. I got mine and my manager's. So that's from the front road. And then you got your parking area, which is in the middle right here, that is covered with a roof. And then uh, you know the garage, Parlin garage, so you can pull in and be covered and have a garage. And then here's the back area. This is where the pat. There's a there's a balcony right here. No railing. I didn't put any railing on it yet or anything. But there's a balcony here, and then the balcony here. All right, so let's break this down. So here we go, first level. You've got living room. You've got your kitchen dining room area right here. A small bedroom, which is 15 by 15. Just a small little bedroom. Closet, small pantry, bathroom, and uh, another, a larger pantry. Garage, maintenance area, and stairs going up. So it's real simple, real simple little house. Real, real simple little, little deal. This window right here is gonna be completely retractable. You can be able to open this all the way up into the wall right here and uh, walk completely in and out of the house right here on both sides now if you notice it's mirrored imaged 
You got Mike's on one side and mine's on the other. The second story, you have an office right here, which overlooks the uh, bottom story. Uh, it's like a balcony. Uh, master bedroom, his and our closets, master bath, and then this is my uh, main gaming office right here. Right here. And then a small room back here with a small closet. So like, this is what it'll look like uh, together. So you'll have uh, the, the balcony in the office is going to overlook inside the living room. So that's the forever home, ladies and gentlemen. That's, uh, that's the design we've got so far. Um, it's all going to be poured concrete. Every bit will be poured concrete and, uh, and, um, and, uh, poured concrete and glass works. So it's going to be pretty cool. So let me show you this. I'm going to show you this picture. I just got to find it. Hold on. Uh, it's under D. Pictures, Forever Home. Okay, so this might be a little dark, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so this is... I got to see when it pops up. I got to find my damn thing again. Okay, so this is the, the, the Aztec-looking temple thing that they had. This place is freaking huge. Huge. We don't want it huge like that. We're gonna we're gonna scale it down a little bit, and and so the house will be up here where this house is, and then you'll have your balcony, your main balcony running across the middle. I don't know if y'all can see my mouse or not. I think you can. Yeah. So we'll have the balcony running here, and then it'll be like three or four stairs down. You'll have a secondary balcony here with a fire pit in the middle, ramps coming down to a third balcony, you know, because we're gonna do it on the side of a mountain, and then there'll be basement access the door right here in the middle with a with a third. Uh, and patio so you'll have patio patio with fire come down your second your your, uh, your your next level and your level I, I just love this I love the look of this so this is the landscaping that we're gonna do on the back side of the house I can't wait it's gonna be awesome good morning to Bobo yeah so that's gonna be awesome that's gonna be fun so and if you want to see pictures of the house um, so here is a rendition. I, can, I know it sucks. I'm not the greatest artist in the world, but that was what's going to live. The living room's going to look like. But well, we've changed it since since this was drawn. I've have it lengthened out and angled out this one the the wall here, and then uh, lengthened it also out about another 15 foot. So, but that's kind of give you an idea. Poured concrete uh, and what it looks like. Let's see. I got that one. Um, and then like, here's another one. Now, of course, this has been lengthened out again. So this wall on the edge is further out. Uh, but you kind of get an idea of what the house is going to look like. So, yeah. Can't wait, dude. Got it all designed out. It's all ready to go. Um, we just have to, uh, I just have to uh, make it now. Just got to go build it. Going to be pretty, pretty nifty. Pretty daggum nifty, I do believe, yay. So, oh, and if y'all are wondering what these walls are right here, is when, when I, from the road, I don't want people to see what cars I have sitting in the driveway from the road. So, and with the roof, uh, with the roof on, um, you know, it'll, it'll add that support to the roof on the other side. So I can pull up under here and nobody can see the cars from the, from the road. It'll just look like a square building, basically. But then when you come around the corner, oh, it's a niceness. Yeah, so I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. Can't wait. I do believe that's nifty myself, yes. All right, get your junior teenager to school. You go have fun with that. You go have You go have some fun with that. All right, I'm gonna catch some of these uh, comments here. You got money with your acres. I'm drinking coffee. I already said that, yeah. Yeah, I th I'm thinking about going to Tennessee Mountains. That's what we've been looking at. That's the area we've been looking at. That'd be cool. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, yeah. Yeah, so that's the forever home that we're working on that I wanna build. Now, here's the crazy thing. The fact that it's poured concrete and tempered glass 
All right, so the the normal house is between five and ten dollars, up to fifteen dollars a square foot to build, depending, okay, on how fancy you make it. Poured concrete and tempered glass homes with steel structure, okay, equals out between forty-two cents and three dollars a square foot. You can build twice the size of the house. You can build a, I mean, a beautiful house. Do stained concrete. Um, it's it's more durable than wood lasts longer it's insane and you get it literally way cheaper so that's what we're going to be doing good morning kevin we're going to be doing um two foot concrete poured concrete walls uh full slab basement first floor second floor with roof access um and on the roof of course we'll put our solar panels and and uh, a hydroponic a hydroponic garden so it's gonna be lots of fun See, I would, I, I've lived off in the woods uh, many times. With this house, the only thing is, I want to live up on the side of, you know, we're going to be on the top of a mountain, but the only thing is, I've got to find land that's not only in the, you know, kind of country. I want to overlook a city, and we have to be close enough that I can get the high speed internet because of my jobs. I have to, and my, my broadcasting and everything, I have to have something like right now, we've got a gigabyte uh, per second or whatever the hell it is. Uh, insane amount of internet capability right now so we want to try to keep a really good internet so and if you build too far in the country you know you have to go satellite or 5g you know screw that that's expensive when you're broadcasting uh good morning hatchet good morning but anyway yeah so we got all the promotional stuff going on we're gonna be at uh we're going to be at uh, Spencer's Gifts the 24th, 25th, 26th. Um, I'll be doing live feeds. Uh, I'm waiting for the money to hit the bank now so I can order some more flat faces. Huh. What's going on, gorgeous? Long time no see. I know you've been disappeared on me. You get six megabits per second? Oh, Jesus. Are you the... Yeah, I'm getting right now. We pay like 180, I think, a month, and I get a gigabyte down or gigabyte download and 500 megabyte upload uh, speeds, and it's unlimited for broadcasting, so they don't throttle me down after I hit. Because with all the broadcasting that I do, which I've, I haven't been doing as much on Mixer lately as I normally do, but with all the broadcasting I do between Facebook, Instagram, and um, uh, Mixer we can run damn near nine gigs a day between well working the blueprints and 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 um broadcasting it's insane it's it's a lot of bandwidth the uh the files that i send out when i do the blueprints are pretty large so a good solid work day burns up shit tons of bandwidth uh rock slides off the edge of the mountain okay so the the basic premise on concrete homes is you go down as far as you go up. So if I've got 10 foot ceilings and I go two floors, it'll be 24 foot to, to well, 20, uh, four, five, six, 26 foot to the top, very top of the roof. So my pylons uh, would have to go down either to bedrock or 26 foot down. So we figured if we did our footers um, uh, extra wide and extra deep, then we would have no issues even if even if the, there was a little rock slide on the side of the mountain we'd still be standing up but we're not going to go directly on the side of a cliff either because i want to bake that backyard that i showed you too you have a reason why that's a good one? Oh no it's fine man life happens i get it you know you don't have to come see me, man. I just like it when you do. Take my guys, I can get. I got Dish Network, and I love my side. Yeah, I mean, you, if you're if you you're happy with what you got, hell yeah, bro. I just we work so we do so much in bandwidth uh, with the both of us working for the Blueprint Company, and both of us doing all of the. I'm doing the broadcast, and he's my manager, so he's handling all the online stuff and everything. So we just burn a lot of bandwidth here. Your tons. Hey, you knew people that came in. Did you share it out? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you share it out? Did you throw some hearts up? Did you throw some likes up? Did you share? Did you comment? Did you do all the good stuff? What about you stalkers out there in the lobby? Why don't you come in and say hi? <laughs>
come in and give us some love. If y'all notice that the pinned comment is Funny Bones Etsy shop, you need to go get you a Funny Bones hoodie or shirt. They are amazing. I'm telling you right now, it's awesome. Get you a ticker too. Make it happen, Kevin. You can do it. I got faith in you. I got the fights. I got the fights in you. Good morning, Joshua. How are you? I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing day. Let's see here. Looks like bigs. There are kinds of people left. Oh, so sad. We're doing great, man. We're doing great. We were just showing everybody the forever home and uh, some of the stuff going on. Uh, we're talking about uh, the shirts going out, Spencer's. We're talking about uh, pulling some funny bones merchandise, which I got, I got pinned down there because it's awesome. You getting ready for the day? Hell yeah! Houston Scream Fest haunt. I work for maybe manager over the clown house. Oh, that's freaking congratulations, man! Congratulations, Hatchet. Hatchet is now the clown manager. He is in charge of all things that go honk honk. <laughs> no, that's awesome, dude. That's really cool. I'm very proud of you, man. That's cool as shit. We can do a happy dance for you later, I promise. Trying not to get too extra with the makeup today. I gotta remember that do that too when I get up later. I gotta get in face later. So um yeah, I gotta remember not to get too extra too. You know, just stay white and black. That's that's black and white, you know, that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, congratulations, Hatchet. Absolutely, absolutely. So it is 7 o'clock in the morning. I normally come on right now, but I came on at 6.30 because I'm tired and I want to go to bed. So instead of going from 7 to 8 today, I decided I'd go from 6.30 to like 7.30. So we got a few more minutes here if you want to tell your friends to come in and say hi. If you've got anybody up. How many people have How many people have somebody up this morning? Do you have people's up? Do you have friends? Do you have friends? You need friends. We need to have friends here. Frog mode and drunk lag. Let's try again. That's funny. Yeah, so I'm all excited. We're all excited, man. We've got a lot of stuff going on. I want to figure out an evening stream. I need to figure out a time for an evening stream. Uh, that's a good thing. Wait, only haunts. Wait. Only in haunt style fields can you be a clown manager and it's a good thing. I know, right? Yeah, they won't stay long still. Yeah, they won't stay still long. No, you gotta you gotta wrangle the clowns. It's not easy. Son graduated when he was 16. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool, Danny. That's really cool. Having smart kids is an amazing thing, man. I've got a kid that's really smart, and I got another kid that's like, oh lord, what the hell am I gonna do with him? <laughs> know what I mean? I got one kid that's just short of hills have eyes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love my kids. My kids are amazing. Oh lord. All right, so let's get back to let's get back to that the subject on hand. I gotta I gotta find it. I don't know what the hell I did with it now. I gotta find it. Here it is. Okay, so uh, Zombie Land Double Tap comes out soon. Um, we summon darkness. That looks kind of neat. Um, uh, Doctor Sleep. I want to see that one. I want to see Doctor Sleep. That looks pretty good. And the Grudge. I want to see the Grudge too. And the Turning. So there's some of the horror movies that are coming out in the next five days that I want to see. Um, I want to, I want to see them. I want to see them. I'm trying to look here and see what else is coming. I heard that there's going to be a new Tank Girl coming out soon too. Hey, Josette. I heard. Uh, and October fifteenth, there's a movie called Haunt coming out. That's I want to. I kind of want to see that. Uh, October fifteenth, uh, Three from Hell, uh, Three from Hell and Haunt are coming out, and I kind of want to see both of them. 
kind of hell. I want to see through from hell. Can't keep him home. He's been at my sister's for almost two months. I miss him not being home. He's 19 now. I'll be 20 next May. Yeah, I know that feeling, dude. I miss. I got a kid that's out no out in the world too. And uh, yep, it sucks, but so you gotta let them. You gotta let them roll. You gotta let them roll with it. They're gonna make some mistakes. They're gonna do some great things. But uh, we're just gonna stand back and. At a certain point, you just kind of have to stand back and let them spread their wings and go fall or fly. Uh, just to let you know, Fright Fest was so amazing. But here's my scary story. As me and my girlfriend was getting ready to ride the Comet, the lights went out and a chainsaw guy scared the crap out of us. My heart was pounding. I got a opportunity with two monsters. Nice. <laughs> lights went out and the chainsaw came cranking up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If y'all don't know, that was my predominant thing I did when I was working haunts. Is I was the, I was the fa same face I wear now pretty much, but uh, I was the clown with the chainsaw. Ooh, yeah. Yawn. See, I'm starting to get tired. Taking some clothes and shoes, that's pretty cool, man. We always support our kids. It's amazing. You know, I'm about to head to fire school. And a few about to head out there. Have a great day. All right, Jesse, man. It's great seeing you. Thank you so much for coming in. And, uh, dude, I'm going to tell you what, Jess. I was I was looking at pictures of rock this morning, so I'm glad you came in. Um, I've been thinking about him lately. So I love you, and I love your family. You know that. Stay safe, brother. Ooh, yawn. So yeah, so yeah, so there we go. We got some movies coming out. Uh, that's what I did when I started working at Hot Scream Fest. I was Leatherface. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I was uh, I was running around as a chainsaw clown. That and I worked the crowd a lot. Uh, you tell Alyssa I said hello, and that uh, she is awesome, and I hope she has an amazing day today. She's got this six foot eight and wears 16 shoe. Jesus, what do you got? A monster? You got a monster for a son. Holy shite. Hello, Zach Black. Welcome to the room. That's right. Coffee, moist, and duh. The three words that matter most in life. Huh. Tell her she's welcome. All right, so I am going to be getting off here in just a little bit. We're going to be here a little longer. Um, just a little bit longer. An upcoming Australian horror movie, not like, not unlike a game of tag, but bloody. Mother of movies has some sneak peeks and footage still. Some it's called the Furies. That looks pretty neat. It's a movie of is movie kind of like homicidal tag. That looks pretty neat. Seed. We're kind of dive like present presents Seed. You bowl 2016. Seed 2 2014. Brutal Glance. Oh, I haven't seen those. Um, I'm actually scrolling through my stuff uh, and looking at some of the stuff. There's a lot of stuff about Night of the Demons again. I don't know what the hell's going on with it, but they've been really pushing it on Twitter and stuff lately. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Damn. I don't know who that is, but she's cute. Hello, cute girl. Uh, I like it when cute girls pop up on my Twitter. I'm like, hi. How you doing? Yep, 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 yep. So anyway, what are we going to do? Overwatch Halloween. Speed up police and interrogation. Uh, I don't know what all this shit is. I'm a saddle tag, so when you're 
out, you're really out. Yeah, exactly. That's what it said. Uh, hazelnut cappuccino hot coffee. Nice. Good morning, Ann Pitts. Good morning. I'm browsing through my uh, Instagram, or not Instagram, my, my uh, Twitter. I'm looking at some of the new stuff coming out. And uh, all kinds of stuff coming out. Looks pretty good. Bills ahead. They got some new stuff. Uh, I, you know, I got a bunch of movie places on my Twitter, so I'm coming up with all kinds of shit. I'm a young dark school. Oh, sorry, they heard all year long. You know, you got a lot of. Hey, all right, so one thing that irritates me about Twitter, and I have unfollowed so many celebrities. I can't stand when a celebrity starts going on political rants. Shut your mouth and entertain people. You know what I mean? I never understood that. If you're an entertainer and you you know you want fans, you want people to want to see your movies or see your TV show, so on and so forth. You want them to be your fans. So why would you exclude half of the people in the United States by by picking a political side publicly? Like just hush. You know what I mean? Just hush and have them all. You know, look at, I think Dolly Parton is the one that I like, like the most as far as when it comes to that, when they asked her what her political side was, she said, I'm an entertainer. I don't, I'm not, I'm not talking about that. We're not, we never talk about that. You know, she was very animate about, uh, keeping her political views to herself. And, uh, I think all entertainers should be that way, you know, just, just keep it to yourself. It's not that hard. Trust me. I don't talk about religion, religion preferences, and I don't talk about uh, political preferences because, you know what, I'm an entertainer. It's not my job to, to push those forward. If I was a preacher, maybe, or if I was a politician, maybe. But I'm neither, so... Exactly, yeah. Celebrities have lost me because they won't shut up. I used to love... Um, uh, what's the girl that went absolutely say Charlie 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 Theron. I used to love Charlie Theron. Unfollowed her. She lost her mind and went and started going crazy over politics and it's like nope. Nope. So many. But then there's a lot of lot of there's a lot of uh, people that deserve our our respect uh, because they do their jobs and they keep it real. Good morning, Al. Certain things don't belong in the chats. I know. Uh, yeah. You talk about politics, politics and religion? Yeah, they don't. Come find out my Ford Ranger. Come to find out your Ford Ranger is a four-cylinder? Yep. I need a cop. Need a cop. Need a fireman. I never needed a celebrity. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Robert De Niro. Yeah, I, I unfollowed Robert De Niro. I don't, I don't follow him at all anymore. And not because I don't care how he feels. I just don't. It's not if you're a, if you're an entertainer, if you're a celebrity you're an entertainer, you know. Just oh, good morning, giggles. You uh, there's no place for it. There's no place for talk about politics or religion and in, in entertainment. Like I said, it's like if you said uh, forget this side, then the, then the, then the that side's not gonna like you anymore. If you say forget that other side, then they're not gonna like you anymore. It's like. Like, why are you cutting your fan base in half? It's like, just shut up. <laughs> you know? All right, go get your coffee, jo uh, Joanna. Go get it. Good morning, everybody. So, y'all know the shirts are coming out October 24th, but I also have Funny Bones uh, store pinned. Uh, you should get you some Funny Bones merch. Funny Bones is awesome. And y'all go follow me on TikTok. Ah, come on. I need TikTok followers. I need to make that happen. Come on. Put a man up. We gotta get them. We gotta get them followers. So we can spread the words. So we can make the sales. So we can go to conventions. So we can spread the words. 
so we can make sales, so we can go to conventions and hang out with peoples because that's fun. It's the fame that got their heads to boost their ego. Yeah, I know. You know, and it's crazy is like, like I've got a couple celebrity friends that are really humble and really cool. It's like there's just a select few that are just crazy, like like crazy. 46 degrees. It was 80 degrees yesterday. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it was 80 degrees here yesterday. It's supposed to be in 80s again today. It's probably already 70 degrees out. We're still running the AC full blast. The Three from Hell is coming out. Zombieland Double Tap. Can't wait for those movies. Those are awesome. Can't wait. You had a TikTok blue to leave it? Well, we'll reinstall it and you'll follow me so I can have another follower. <laughs> Go check out my TikTok videos. They're funny. They're awesome. TikTok is a great way to, to throw out short little videos to do to you know to put on Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. So it's a great way to make little quick little content. You know? And that's what you gotta do if you uh, if you're trying to build your pages. You gotta constantly put out content. You know? Oh my God, there's so much nudity on my t Twitter today. Like it's insane how much nudity is on my Twitter. Like what is going on with Twitter today? Like I have celebrity friends that are, are like posting nudes. Is it? Oh, it's Titty Tuesday, isn't it? Oh, it's Titty Tuesday. I know now. Uh, let's see. Not your fault. I watched three hours of TikTok. I blame you and Courtney. It's true, dude. Now you can get you get stuck on that thing. I got stuck on it the other day. I have been well. I've been doing great today. Um, I had a beautiful day today. Yesterday, it's uh, it was a little eh. I was it was touch and go yesterday. I was had some issues with Snapchat and getting stuff to post and uh, all kinds of stuff. But today's been beautiful. Had a great night at work last night. Got some work done. Been pretty good. Yep, been pretty good. I am, I got caught scrolling. Oh, let's see, I made two tie-dye shirts this morning, 2 a.m. one in pink and black. That's what they're gonna get, that's cool. Somebody needs to show you how to use TikTok? I'll show you how to use TikTok, big boy. No, I'm just kidding though, but seriously, if you need help, just let me know. I'll walk you through it. It's it's not really, it's really not that bad. You uh, you click the thing, you pick the sound, or if you, if you are scrolling through the For You page and you find a sound you like, uh, you just, I, I'd have to look at it, tell you which buttons to kick, to, to pick, but yeah, I'll walk you through it, man. We'll get on video chat and I'll walk you through it. Uh, we'll do that later today or something this afternoon or something. Yeah, this weekend was crazy busy at the haunt. I bet dude, it's that season, it's that season. So yeah, so see what we talk about today we told you the, I showed you the forever home I showed you the blueprints they're done um forever home blueprints are done we got an idea of the outside landscaping the whole nine yards now we just got to find land as soon as we find land we're done it's gonna be awesome We'll have that worked out and then once we get it built uh, I have a studio area in it so once we get it built um, uh, we'll be inviting people out definitely I figure about two years I figure about it should be built in about two years three years maybe we up the time frame now I'm saying the blueprints are done the blueprints are done on it so the blueprints are, are finished So now we have to find land 
that fits with what we want. And boom, buy the land, build a house. It won't take long. It's all poured concrete. So literally, it's it's not going to take long to put the house together. They pour all the concrete, then put the window frames in and drop the windows and the retractable walls in. Easy peasy breezy. Easy peasy breezy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Joyster. How are is you? Sorry, I got lost looking at stuff again. Some of this graphic art stuff is amazing. I've been looking at some of this stuff. And then I had a guy today, it's a guitarist from a heavy metal band, uh, took my picture of, a, of me and my picture, uh, where I'm wearing my face in front of the picture of my face, and he made a painting in a painting. That's pretty cool. Uh, which I gotta, I'm gonna get that later, and I'll post that out later for everybody to see. That's pretty neat. Uh... I had some pretty cool shit going on, man. Yeah! Ooh. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Have y'all seen the coins that uh, they they have mic micro uh, mechanics in it? That's pretty weird. I just saw one that has a heart on it. And you spin the little thing and it uh, and it uh, makes the heart look like it's beating. It's crazy. Oh, you know what I meant to look up? Uh... The Hard Rock Casino. Fatal New Orleans building collapsed. The Hard Rock Casino that they were building apparently fucking collapsed. Yep, construction collapsed. Buildings is still remains a dangerous situation. So they were building the Hard Rock Casino in uh, New Orleans and it collapsed. Uh, I guess yesterday? That's nuts. Logically, it doesn't make sense. Wow. What happens when you build in New Orleans? <laughs> yeah, that thing collapsed bad. I'm sure eventually it's going to call an attorney. Attempt to determine what could have caused the building to crumble, which results in two deaths. Our investigation again when they yeah, properly it's design of sound that they're trying to see now if it was if the design was sound. It's either going to come down to the design was flawed or the people that were were making it were cutting corners and cut too many corners and the damn building fell down. The eight forty again, yeah. Man, I've been thirty from. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the cops, I forgot to look. That gummit, I lost track of him, Bobby. That gummit, I stopped looking at the monitor because I was looking at the, uh, I stopped looking at the security monitor, was looking at the other monitors and I don't see them now. So I don't know. I don't know if they got him or not. It looks like business is usual out there right now though. That was funny though. Yeah, I was just down there uh, by the by the Hard Rock, freaking like what three days ago, four days ago. I was down there. That's crazy. Apparently, there's all kinds of crap going on in the world today. I don't even want to look at the news. News is bad. Didn't have your blueprints to go by. 
Yeah, right? They didn't have my blueprints to go by. I know. I know. I showed my blueprints while I go. I showed everybody the forever home. I pulled it up and showed everybody. Uh, showed everybody in the room. Cleaned it out a little bit. Forever home is going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. Got the new uh, landscaping all figured out and everything. It's going to be awesome. All right, well, it is just about that time. I got about five minutes, so I'm going to do my, uh, I'm gonna do my ending credits, my crazy stuff. So I can go to bed, cause I'm tired. So, abadonapolyon.com, go to it, scroll down, you donate, Patreon, store, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Funny Bones' store is pinned in the comments right there. Go get you some Funny Bone merch, because Funny Bones is amazing. Spencer's Gift, October 24th. You can go to any Spencer's Gift in the United States and go pick up my shirt. Or you can order it pre-order online from Big, Big Chris Arts. Go to Big Chris Arts, follow the links, and you can pre-order it, and it'll be shipped to your house. Pre-orders are going out now, so you can get that within a few days. It's amazing. It's cool. So, yeah, go buy shirts. Go do things. Go have fun. All right, so on that... Be nice to each other. Be kind. Be happy. Be loving. Enjoy life. Don't be a dick. That's my that's my voice for today. Can you build a lean to in your payment rent? Yeah. I'll put you a I'll put you a she shed out in the fucking backyard. <laughs> ah. We'll figure something out, Joyster. Put you in a clown tent on the back side, on the back 50. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I love each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming in and hanging out with me this morning. I really appreciate it each and every morning. Thank you for sharing it out. Thank you for comments. Thank you for making this successful every single day. You guys are the real rock stars around here. And I love each and every one of y'all. You is are amazing. All right. For real. All right, guys. We will talk to you later. I'm out of here like the fat kid in dodgeball. <laughs>